right, so warm welcome back to the Brixton Recreation Centre. Under 19 game at the Hoops Fix All Star Classic for 2016, the third year of Hoops Fix action. These all star events are just growing, and that's a testament to a full house here at the Bristol Recreation Centre, which is about to get into individual player introductions for the under 19 game. We've already seen a great under 17 game, which is a real advert for the talent of basketball in England. It is Mark Jaron Mark. This under 19 game has always had some great highlights, great players. It's always been a great event. I'm sure this is going to be nothing different. Yeah, you look back to last year when Kyle Carey had the massive dunk that shut down the whole place and turned this turned this uh, rough house into a, a zoo almost. Everyone going crazy. But you know, for me, the way that this Hoop Tricks Classic keeps growing and growing, the awareness of it and the understanding of the event is much, 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 much more aware for these players. So they now get what this event is all about. It's about showcasing them. It's about showing the world that, you know, British talent is up there and it's just an awesome environment to have a little fun and play some good hoops. Absolutely. I couldn't say anything else on top of that. This is one of the highlights of the season now for young players. These, these young guys have been looking forward to this. A lot of uh, interaction on social media. Great job from all that team, all the media team at Sunday and his, and his uh, partners all there doing a great job making the awareness of the event. If you do want to follow us, you want to give out the social well, the media hashtag. Hashtag HASC16 and all those, whatever social media you're on. If you want to search, you're not sure, just look for the Hoops Fix. Snapchat, yep. Twitter, Instagram, we're all live, Facebook Live, there's been a couple, make sure you stay involved. Any thoughts, opinions that you have, use the hashtag HASC16. Uh, while the players have been introduced, Sam Leader and the Hoops Fix organization have a number of partners as well as the fans here that contribute to the event. Partners like Molten, Tootool.com, Sponsor, Bigfoot Basketball, 5 or 6, Red Bull, Let Me Play, Always Balling, Basketball Megastore, Custom College Recruiting, and the Wilkie TV are all partners with Hoop Fix. Without them, this event wouldn't be possible. And this event is now, as we've said, really fixed in the basketball calendar. And I hope it's something that does continue year in and year out because these first three years, Mark, have been absolutely tremendous. Not only for the players involved, but the sport in general. Well, again, in the same way we had some great coaches on the under 17 uh, game with the under 19 game josh merrington his team won the eabl championships and andrew's come as the under 20 national team coach we've got two great coaches yeah and also the interesting point is josh also recently was appointed his assistant yep. coach for the gb under 20 so again another opportunity for two coaches to take a look at uh, some up and coming talent and i believe there's probably three or four of the, of the guys out here on the floor that are in that initial GB on the 20s squad. And you know that you know, the GB program is a long program. You know, a beer after practice, late night pride, I'm sure one of these guys is going to have a little bragging rights. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be mentioned once uh, uh, Jet set it around in that <laughs> European tournament. Well, this is the other thing about this is a great if you want staging post, if you want before the GB programs start, you've got the under 16, under 18, and the under 20 programs. We've seen a number of players across those three national teams that are all going to be part of those uh, those national team programs. And this is a great way for them to have a big game in front of a big crowd and get used to that type of environment. Yeah, it is. You know, this environment that we just saw for the under 17s, very loud, which is exactly what it's like in the Europeans. And, and, and you know, you're replicating an environment that they have to be ready for. At whatever level that they aspire to be at, they have to be ready to perform under the pressure, under the big lights, under the eyes. Well, the players will meet at the halfway line. The coaches will shake hands. And we're 30 seconds away from the tip for the 2016. Who picks All-Star Classic under 19 game? And hold on to your hats because uh, 
The under 17 game is quick, but it's going to step up a level for this one. Yeah, these, you, again, you look out there, there's some tremendous physical bodies out there. You know, under 17s were impressive, but these even more so. I expect a high paced, high tempo game again, and we'll see who settles down early and gets into things. And a number of these players are going to be bound for U.S. College in, for next season. We'll pick. We'll talk about that a little bit as the game goes. Uh, as the game goes on, some of the some of these guys going to very very high level schools, and that's got to be good for the game here in terms of them going in, and carrying on their basketball education, and then coming back to Europe and wanting to have a professional career. Yeah, any opportunity that you can take to make that next level and, and be in a different place in an environment that really challenges you and pushes you that's where you got to go you got to put yourself in the positions in order to get that opportunity and as you look around this list and we'll talk as the game goes on but there are a number of guys that are heading over to the u.s and also a number of guys that are staying here well yeah that's not to underestimate that because you know, your program yeah. in uh, in leicester benefits from that university tie up a number of universities realize it's a competitive market out there and if you're going to offer great programs like the program at leicester where they have that tie up all the way through from the bbl team all the way through down into the academies etc that's a great model for this this uh for this sport yeah absolutely that's something that we've tried to create is the opportunity for guys to still meet their potential whilst being here in the uk and, you know i've got to give a shout out to rob panostro who is in the house taking a look at the up and coming british players well that tells you something about where the priorities of that program are that he's taking the time to be here and yeah, there might be a bit about, yeah, it's social, it's this time of the year, but he's part of British basketball, wanting this British kids to be in those programs. Leicester with a new facility, it's a model that the rest of the country could look at. And uh, I think it's very healthy. There's a lot of change going on in British basketball. Leicester are right involved in that. And I, I think there's so many positives. Yeah, it's going to be tough. Uh, but we want to take the, 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 the sport to a level that is competitive in Europe, and it's these kids that are going to be able to do that. Yeah, and I look out there right now, guys are starting to take the floor. There's a little bit of jitters, maybe, but boy, they got to be absolutely buzzing inside to be playing on this floor on this occasion. A little bit of bragging rights, perhaps, here for these guys. They know each other so well. <laughs> I, I, did, I did ask uh, Andre during the week, what's that WhatsApp conversation like? And he said, you don't want to know. You don't want to know. <laughs> All right, here we go, then. The white team with uh, Hurdle Ruck, Evan Walsh, Carl Carey, uh, George Darling, and Sam Jeffrey Mathias in the starting lineup. The black lineup's got uh, Henry Langton jumping there. You'll know him really well. Yeah. And uh, Carl Weedle, 24, he's back again. This is this is set up. Here we go then. 2016, Hoops Fix, All-Star Classic, and the white team. Uh, RJ Earl Rock gets it into the half court, gets the little hand off. They go upstairs. Well, it's not the highlight finish, but the execution is there. And an easy two points at the start of this game for George Darling. Early, early look for the alley oop play there from Coach Kapoulas. Trying to get the white team off to a slam dunk start. Langton steps out for three. Whoa. And I tell you what, that big boy can shoot the three. Really showing his range out there. Good stroke. Well, European size and all those big guys in Europe can step out and stroke it. He looks lots of potential. Great steal by Weedle. He's got a jump to push this. Challenged by a little rock, and Weedle gets the two. Well, you mentioned the defense in the previous game, and it's uh, straight up defense again by Black. Yeah, I'm actually, every passing lane. I'm actually really intrigued to see the matchups in this game. You know, there's a lot of guys that are going to be able to go head to head. We're in for a real treat. Wow. Well, Darling, he has four, White has four. That's all. Gets it into the half court. Looks underneath. Nothing there. Bring it out. Roberts has it on the perimeter. Takes the high screen. Hard show by Jamin Mathias. He's got to recover. Long three. Oh! Sunday afternoon open. Still open. You need the bank open. Come to Brixton on Sunday. <laughs> Kisses it off the glass. 
spins in the lane. Great defensive effort. The black break it up. Waters pushes. That's all with a three. Is off. Devin Mathias will haul it in. Chance to run. Darling has it in transition. Earl Rock gets it on the Darling. Mid-range two is long. Devin Mathias can't get off the floor. Had great position, mate. Yeah, he been pulling that one in and throwing it down, but... Here come Black again. Andre Arasol in the half court. Matchups all over the floor. Oh, I'm really excited to see how a couple of things shape up here, both inside and outside. There's a ton of awesome matchups. That's a great defensive effort. Arasol took the shot, but a tough one. Carey will push. This is one that was talked about during the week. Shaquille Walters and Kerry. Also, Henry Langton and Big Sam. Oh, Sam misses the dunk. Waters pushes. Gets to the far side of the oh. ring. Blocks. Who's coming up with that? Ball's chased down. Great effort. Got to give it up. Darling's going to get another two. Throws it down for two. Eight to six. Seven oh. Five to go in the first. I tell you, early signs, Mark. The under 17 game was good. But this one might That's, be great. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, high post action. Roberts takes it. Oh, oh. Nice job. Oh, Langton can't get the eight footer away. Carey will advance the ball for White. Awesome find from Alex Roberts. Early off the pick, and he knocks it down. Early offense off the early screen. Somebody you can't leave open on the perimeter, Kyle Carey. Showed that he can shoot from range. Quick release. Anytime he's a definite threat. Arisol, turnover, Earl Rock in traffic, pulls up, mid-range jump shot is no good. And uh, Weeder will bring it down and advance the basketball. Weedle has it, looks to go to the middle. Nice five, Langton in the corner for three, doesn't get the drop, Darling comes down. Darling's putting up some numbers early in the game. Points and rebounds. Falls out of bounds. Should be a white basketball. We've got substitutions coming in. Now Wesso and Ilamati coming into the game. And mass substitutions on the white lineup. Darling stays. Darling and Carey stay out. Yeah. Akin in, Michelin, Josie Pinerson. Oh, straight, straight, straight off the bench, catch it, let it go. Catches nothing, no chance to run. Aerosol in transition. Has a look. Oh, great first step. Goes strong. Doesn't get the finish. The good challenge, but he's got to finish that play. He'll be disappointed he did not knock that one down. Yeah, good take there. Good explosive first step. Another guy with a good first step. Oh, Mitchell's open for three. Hits the front of the ring this time. Chance for Black to get going in transition. Garcel will pull out. Takes the three. Is short. Mitchell's long. Looks long. No pass. Decides not to give it. Now he'll enter. Judah Pilas moves it on. Oh, the three was under pressure. And White got very static in that play. Yeah. Substitutions coming in. Obiagu coming in on for White, as is Ben Merriman. Yeah, Ben Merriman into the game. Uh, so in the half court, Mitchell goes underneath the screen and had to switch it. Great work on the glass, gets the put back. And Solomon Amade gets the two. 10-9 after, with four and a half to go. Both teams almost feeding each other out a little. Yeah, there is a little bit of that. A lot of early rotations as well. If anything, these guys look a little bit tenser or tighter than the under-17 game. Yeah, I'd agree with that, boy. The guys are out there really trying to just settle in a little bit. As we say, as you said, though, a little bragging rights, a lot of, lot of talk to each other before this, maybe a little bit more than the under-17 game. These guys have known each other for a little longer. Great take, can't get the two. Work on the offensive glass again by uh, Solomon Amade. Uh, He's already having an impact on the boards. 
And that's a whistle on the plate. Substitutions coming in for Black. Yassi Pepin and Lloyd will join the game. They're keeping us on our toes with the substitutions. <laughs> in the half court, Black have it. I mean, uh, Adam moves it. Lewis who goes down low. Navali tried to go to the middle, gets the turn around, tough one away. Oh, what an effort by Pippen on the board. Salamani goes up, and he is a rebound machine right, off really, the bench. Really good composure there to endure the contact and finish. Well, a quick release on the three. No second invitation at all for Ben Mariner. That is one guy you cannot leave wide open. Renowned for his three-point threat. Nice find, the most outside from the three-point line. Wow, what an impact off the bench, offensive rebounds. Back and forth we go, yet again, here's another three. Way okay. short, good effort, chance for the black team to run. They've got numbers, four on two break. Just got to pick the right option, they don't. Four on two going the other way. Just get the open one. Good composure, great good, finish. Good. Dan Aitken gets the two. Raw talent, Dan Aitken. Black, they take the pick and roll. He goes to the inside, he gets the two. And Charles Yassi Pippen. Oh, Charles is a young man that has definitely improved dr dramatically in a short space of time. Got a much better understanding the game in his hands. His hands, he catches everything now. Oh, man, Black gives it up. Yeah. Turn down the three, make the take. Work on the inside, inside, outside. Great way to share the ball, to shoot a wide open and knocks it down. And Gediez Obatis gets the three. 17 apiece, two minutes in the first to go. Exactly what we thought this game would be. Yeah, Josie Pied is last year's MVP award winner. Obviously coming to make sure he retains that, or at least uh, try it. Offensive foul on the screen. I got to be the first foul called. Yeah, first foul called. Got to be careful there. The big man is trying to get his feet set, and maybe the guard came up a little too early. That's a lesson for the younger, younger guards out there. Make sure you're ready for the ball screen. The Patty in the half court, moves it on. But they're not leaving Mariner alone anymore. Making him put it on the floor. He tries to turn the corner, goes soft off the glass, doesn't get the drop. Great work on the glass. Kevin Mathias just made some space, should we say? Yeah. I think he naturally makes some space he down there. Naturally makes some space. <laughs> it takes up a lot of room. <laughs> Roberts, little handle, gets to the middle. Nice, nice pass. pass. Apple mishandles. That's a shame. Josh Apple was ready for it. Almost tried to make the shot before he had the ball. Two, two. It's an early signs there. Alex Roberts showing he can really pass the ball with some high level passes once he gets into the paint. Chance of anyone blocking anything. Alex Roberts really did make a great decision. Uh, excellent play there. Two teammates match it up. Oh, there wow. he goes. What did I tell you? Scan report. Got to run him off the line, Ben Mariman. He doesn't a need job. a second invitation, does Not he? Not at all. Not at all. Very good shooter. Lloyd looks inside out of rock. He's got those hands, quick hands, goes up in traffic, gets that second little Euro step for two. Takes a hit really well, great strength in his body. 24 to 19. Where did that first quarter go, Mark? 30 seconds left, just been non-stop. Oh, Little Rock comes up with back-to-back -back steals. James Lloyd, really have to be careful, the way he looks after the ball. Oh, nice pass inside. 
Gavin Price can't handle it. Black are off to the races. And the ball will be out of bounds. Came off the feet of Dan Hemingway. And Josh Merrington's going to take the timeout. Seconds on the clock. Timeout, Josh Merrington. Let's see what uh, see what defensive strategy comes up with him. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, offensive strategy. <laughs> see, see what he can draw up on the board. I like this first quarter. He knows he's, he's here to really do a good job for his guys. Let's draw it up. We're, we're gonna you know, we're gonna win this by one or whatever. We might win it right now. In running plays out of bounds. You said they get that little time together, but you got the chance here. Why not take it? Yeah, another another example of a teachable moment. And you know, even though he's got a couple of his his club guys out there, works with a lot of different players. Just sorted out some stuff on the baseline where I think uh, the last time a few players fell over. That's, in fact, Josh Merriton hasn't had to take the time out. The referees have taken it, so Josh gets a free one. Whoa. The table's giving it to him, but... I remember, guys, if you want to get in on the action, hashtag HASC16 for the Hoops Fix All-Star Classic 16. All social media platforms just search for the Hoops Fix. And just in case you're new to this type of stuff, just check out Hoops Fix as often as you can because all the news about British, European, American, worldwide basketball covered there on Hoops Fix. Out of bounds, Lloyd gets it off the screen, puts it on the floor, gets to the middle, quick release, nice, nice finish. Nice finish with the stretch, underhand, layup. Five seconds, up. they get his barrel, gonna get this away, halfway line. And doesn't get the answer that we've reached half the first quarter. And it's a 21 to 24 margin. And it's the intent is there from both teams. Both teams really are ready to play. And both coaches doing a nice job getting everybody involved in that first period. Yeah, I think the feeling out process is now officially over. Yep. I'm sure that these guys are going to really get after it in this second quarter. But boy, that went really, really fast. No, one foul called, a high tempo game. Oh, that's the thing, it's the tempo of the game. Now, that's what the crowd want, though. They want to see these guys run, they want to see them get up the floor. They love the defense, though, because both teams have come up with steals and they've turned those into fast break points. Packed crowd here, though. There's, there's plenty of uh, plenty of clubs around the country who die for sellout crowds like yeah. there is here. Brixton's got some great history of some great crowds, some great teams in the past. It's great to see this facility rocking to another basketball event. Yeah, and the other great thing is that it's, today they've done an awesome job with the branding, five or six, give them a shout out. Great job with the court and all the partners doing, doing and adding and contributing to such an awesome, awesome event. Uh, some of those partners will mention it throughout, but Morton2Tool.com. Sponsor, Bigfoot Basketball, 5 or 6, Red Bull, Let Me Play, Always Balling, Basketball Mega Store, the Custom College Recruiting, and the Wilkie TV. They've done great support, and they are major partners of the Hoops Fix organization. <laughs> we currently have a half court shot competition, and I'm worried about those guys on the baseline. <laughs> gotta, gotta get their crash helmets on. She's gonna make it, she's taking the half, she's really taking it seriously now. The hat's off. Oh, getting closer. Here we go then, second quarter action. It will be a black team basketball. Twenty-one to twenty-four. 
at the start of this second quarter. Alisson will have the first possession. We the ones to pick and pop. Guido has it down low, wants to go to work in the block here, gets to the middle, goes up, kicks it, nice find to Waters, doesn't catch anything, got to put it up, I don't know if they got it away in time, I don't think they did. Shot clock violation. Aaron Senior, one of the uh, more senior officials now in UK. Pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> This is a matchup that we want. Oh, is it on the bias? That's what he has to do with that sort of frame. Just be big and strong. You know, he does a nice, nice job getting to the far side of the ring. Yeah, doesn't have to complicate it. And you see him drawing back and forth a little bit. Charles Jesse Pepin and Sam Jepin behind. Oh, great still. Arisol going up. Blocked that by Oda Rock. And they stay with the play to get the two Walters finishes. This is real head-to-head -head stuff, isn't it, in terms of matchups across the floor. Nice oh, pick it's a Throws it down. Good no call by the official. <laughs> That's what we want in the exactly All Star game. So White trying to stretch this lead. So backs out. Comes off the screen. Looks at what he has. Waters into the little hole. Doesn't get anything. White chance to run. Great no look pass. Easy two, and it's all about the pass. Great, great lead on the pass. Allow Carl Carey to finish. White on a little bit of a run here. Open up the second quarter. Black looking to respond. Roberts goes a little bounce pass. Oh, oh. There's no way that's going down. Big time by Carey. Long two is off. What a block. Little Walsh, little deflection. Black break it up. And White had opportunities. Aerosol goes upstairs. Oh! Oh, that one down. Great assist. Throws it down for two. Never Walsh the other way. Little shake of a move. But Kevin Mathias has it blocked. And Black on a roll here. Walsh goes up and misses. Great effort to get the defensive rebound. Little Rock gives it up. Gets it back, lines up the three, lets it go, is way off. Kevin Mathias going to work with the left hand for two. Well, first alley oop of the day, Andre Arasol and Charles Jassy Pepin connect. Weedle outside. Mid range jump shot, catches nothing, Jassy Pepin's after it. That'll energize Charles anyway. Walsh from deep, from way deep, just knocks it down and looks away with some attitude. Timeout coming for Black, they trail 10. Cancelled, Roberts with the three, answers. Big response. Little exchange as well, you gotta love it. Yeah, these guys are really uh, drawing back and forth, gotta enjoy themselves talking. Back cut, oh, great finish. Nice little backdoor cut. Walsh gets the two. Five points for Walsh in succession. Weedle takes it strong, but has it knocked away. Kevin Mathias looks long. Carey has it behind the back. Stolen. Wow. Back to back doesn't do it justice. Upstairs, and they can't complete the play. We have massive substitutions for both teams. Well, there's some guys who will need it after that little uh, four wow. minutes of play. Carl Wheel inbound on the baseline. The man with the mid-range jump shot is no good. Does a great job keeping them alive. Quick catch and shoot from the inbound play. Fast way to stay with the play. Kill Waters fumbled a little, but really made sure he got the shot away. Mitchell will reverse it. Now Gary outside. 
wants to be aggressive. It's a hard show on that ball screen. Nary attacks it, nice find. Nice. Mitchell is off, great work on the glass. They can't get the drop, Waters has a chance to run. Wheel in transition. Nice transition, cross court pass, good ball movement. Oh, that's the way to run the break. They find the hot hand as well. That's back-to-back -back threes for Alex Roberts. Beautiful transition, cross court pass into the extras. Found the open look, knocked it down for the trade. Mitchell backs it out. Oh, gets to the middle. With the three short, great offensive rebound. Never Walsh is having one of those periods where the ball just seems to find him. Substitutions coming in for both teams. Finally out of bounds. First step, look for the step back, not there. Agu goes up left hand, has it knocked away. That will be a black basketball. And black have really responded well. They were 10 down, back to four with the basketball. Yeah, again, these young guys showing, you know, not, not, uh, not getting flustered in any way. Just staying with it, chip away. Oh, turnover chance for White to run. They've got numbers. Bounce pass and Agu just oh. hangs on to it, but is rejected. Oh, Wheel says not today. Get it out. No, no. no gets his feet set, lines up the three, drops it and drops it with and a all, high arm. All of a sudden, one point ball game. That's basketball game of runs. on the floor, a little floater, doesn't get the drop. Weedle comes down with a rebound and brings it. Chance to tie or even lead. Timeout coming here from Coach Andres Kapoulis. On a score here from the black team. Weedle moves it on. Nabu gets his feet set, his turn from the three-point line. Doesn't get the drop, Agu gets the rebound. Looks to run and steps out, moves it on. Agu will find Mitchell. Well, a little shake, didn't help him, didn't find any space. White chase it down and keep it alive. Aaron from deep, deep down and doesn't get the drop. And White, all of a sudden, just standing still, shooting trees. Yeah, uh, got a question there, shot selection a little bit. Kezu is off. Darling comes down with it, he gets it up. hesitation inside looks to make the pass and that's a little bit more resembling of what white were doing earlier in the game so timeout white they lead it by two 37 to 35 330 to go in the half and black have had just a great three to four minutes they were 10 down they brought it back to two and if there's a team with momentum it's them yeah absolutely black doing a great job of uh, putting a lot of pressure, especially in transition too, you know, but opportunity here for Andreas to talk it over with his team. We'll probably be talking a little bit about the shot selection and trying to find a few better looks. So White can't afford to settle for the long bombs. They've got to try and move it, find the open looks, or penetrate, make something happen in the paint. Well, just coming up to the half, 3.30, please, with a lot of activity on social media, Hashtag HASC16. Every other version of social media. Just get involved with this event because the crowd here are loving it. Hopefully you're getting a feel for that on this uh, stream. I know we're feeling this. The atmosphere here is really building this second half. If it stays like this, we're set up for a tremendous climax to this day. Yeah, I hope the guys on the stream just can understand how loud it is in here. You know, sometimes we're struggling to even hear each other. We got the headsets. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've got a three throw going on. A little bit of pressure for the young man as all the stars of this game are watching him up close. White ball will have it on the end line with 11 seconds on the possession. 
Marathon will inbound. He gets Luke Mitchell. Gets to the middle, finds the pass. Oh, he's got to take that from deep. It's short. And White again, living and dying outside the three-point line. Uso gets it inside. Animal goes up, gets the two. And Black are just being the aggressor right now. Uh, really tough finish there with the left hand on the offside. And Agu can't complete the layup under a lot of pressure, admittedly, but uh, got to finish those plays at this level. Dana Kid checking into the ball game. Obi Agu take a break. And going baseline, a lot of help, a lot of traffic gets blocked. Big time defensive play. Rosie Pakusu gets it into the half court. Apple will reverse the ball. Langton back into the game, going to work down low. Goes to the right hand, doesn't get the roll. Chance here to push for White, transition. Mitchell stops and pops. And White settled for another three. Great recovery though. Got to play the next play. Mitchell looks long. Turned over though. And White have just lost their way. Yeah, got to look after the basketball. A lot of free, like, uh, all over the place passes. Got to look after the rock. It's got to be recovered, yep. Josh Apple. Langton gets a touch at the high post, faces up. Fills the double team, long three. It's almost like the defense has really stepped up and now the offense has got to make that adjustment. Yeah, yeah. Any, any time the defense changes, you got to change. It's like a game of chess out here. Comes Luke Mitchell into the half court, gets the early screen, turns it down, but Darling just pops, foul line jump shot, comes out a little flat, defensive rebound, gives Arasol a chance to run for Black. Attacks it early. Langton wants it in the post, gets a touch. Finds Arasol again, attacks it. Oh, well, he somehow manages to get the pass off. Off the glass is no good for two. Langton goes to work on the glass, goes with a jump hook, doesn't get the finish. Um, Mitchell looks long. That's a great effort defensively. Tremendous work to get back. Arasol, who went almost end up on his backside in the keyway. He gets up, gets back. Great effort. Uh, you see his fall over in the paint down one end, get back to the paint the other end, make the defensive play baseline out of bounds. Jammer Myers comes in, probably to finish the half. He gets a touch in the post. Goes with the left hand. Doesn't hit a thing. Chance here for Black to score in transition again. Arasol comes off the high screen, turns the corner. Langton, oh, nice, nice look. Apple for two. That's how to execute the pick and roll. Great possession there from Black. Good trail ball screen from Henry. And they punish the hard hedge from Sam. Carey outside, little hesitation, go into the work, gets blocked, gets his own rebound, goes back up with the left hand for two. Nice soft finish there with the left hand. That's the first two points in a long, long time for White. Yep. Assault comes off the high screen, same play. Puts it on the floor this time. Goes up with a tough shot, somehow manufactures a finish. Tough one. Let it go with all the... All the most contested shot we'll see all day. <laughs> Gets it to go. White, it's what should be the last shot of the half. Yeah, from the fires for the easy layup, little soft pick and roll action. Are they going to get Arisol? Loads of time, stops, fires it up, gets nothing. And we are absolutely even at the half. 41 apiece, set up nicely for a second half. Bragging rights at stake. That's a true, that's messy in that uh, second period, but still so much intensity. Yeah, guys, guys playing really hard and being really aggressive. You just got to uh, make sure that it doesn't turn into a, a turnover fest. Got to look after the ball a little bit more and they'll be absolutely fine. But these guys are competing 
and that's what you want to see. Oh, well, we're going to take a break. We need to catch our breath because that was up and down. In the meantime, get in touch. Hashtag HASC16. If you want to tell us what you think, use any version of social media. Get onto any platform. Let us know what you think. We'll be back for the second half in around eight, nine minutes. Get a drink. Catch your breath. Get ready for some action here from the Bristol Wreck. We'll see you shortly for the second half. We'll take you a minute. Here you go. Come on over here. Come on over here. Once again, guys, check out the ACLT. Since you went to the early game, we'll take you one minute of the time. You could be sitting on the right today. All you need to do is a cheap swap. Here's a little information about yourself. And that's all we need from you guys.
Well, welcome back to the Rough House, the Brixton Recreation Centre. Well, that was a well, was very close, very competitive first half. What do the numbers uh, look like? Yeah, and in, in this tight ball game, there's a couple standout performers for both teams. But the Black, again, everybody on the score sheet, very even spread, but leading all scorers with seven points is Solomon Eugumede. And also three rebounds to accompany that. Alex Roberts had a nice little spurt for the Black team six points but two fantastic assists but like i said everybody else on the score sheet contributing and for the white team sam jaffin mahayas with a sneaky 12 points got under the radar and kyle carey seven points five rebounds ben marriman also with the six points from the two threes and we have to run him off the line i've just got it before the start of the game this is a uh, Really important uh, announcement, little discussion. Uh, looking for you know, people to be donors to help young kids in particular with leukemia. And uh, we'll just uh, let this guy talk this through to the crowd here. Looking for people to register and try and offer people an opportunity uh, for, a, for a chance.
go. One half of basketball to decide who wins the 2016 Hoops Fix All-Star Classic under 19 game. We are poised at 41 apiece. Both teams made mistakes, Mark, but you, you'd expect both coaches to talk about that a little bit. But both teams show great glimpses of how good they could be. Yeah, we, I mean, we talked in the break, and I think the black team showed that they played some really good team basketball in a couple couple of uh, possessions, and they got to look to repeat that. White got to maybe find a couple more wide open jumpers just like this, and there it goes. Kyle Carey for three. Oh, you said wide open, can't get more wide open than that, but you've got to make it. Carey with his feet set, nice. Absolutely. Good start for the white team. Blacks really got back into this game by playing some defense. So they're going to put, get down and play some in this second half. Ali Sol outside the three-point line, breaks it down, gets to the glass, blows the layup, but the Fires can't hold on. They get a new 14, they take the early three, that ball hit the ring. And they've allowed that to go quite rightly. Here's Roberts, goes down low, Langton gets a touch, faces up. That's two talented big men going at it. Still, Agu's got it. Needs to find the open man, which he does. A run. Nice bounce pass down low. The Fires can't get the hook to drop. Oh, we at speed. Oh, and he misses the throw down. It's all a little scrappy again. And Roberts says, hang on. Let's look to get something we need. Good. Poised point guard there, showing that he can control the basketball team, getting a feel for the game. Understanding we got to slow it down. Little one-on-one -on -one here matchup. Shaq and Kyrie missed it. Uh, that ball should belong to Black, and it does. Carl Weedle inbound. Langton gives him an option. Jeff up the vice goes flying past. But Langton can't complete. And Obiagu comes down, has numbers down the floor, gets deep in the lane, tries to finish, blows the left hand layup, makes a smart decision to come out. And Carey will move it back to him. He'll gets to the middle. Foul line jump shot is short. And Langton comes down with it. So looks for Weedle in transition. Should be it is an easy two. Nice pass, nice easy score. Little rock, little hesitation, spins in the lane, goes up for a tough one, gets the drop. He's got game, RJ. I like his, his silky smooth. Weedle will hand it off. Roberts takes the ball screen from Weedle. Just recovers his balance. Turnover. Ago gives it long, nice pass. Kerry going up. He's fouled. He'll have to pick himself up off the floor and get to the free throw line. That gives us a good opportunity. This, this second half, got to really give a shout out to these players because they've earned the right to be here. A lot of accolades throughout the season and a lot of players heading over to the, the US. And this is one of them, Kyle Kerry. He'll be taking his basketball to Northern Colorado next year to play in the Big Sky Conference. Was the MVP of last year's under-19s Hoops Fix game. Western Conference Player of the Year in the EABL. He right, makes the second one there, ticks it over, four-point lead and White doing what they did in the first half, building a lead early in the half. Arisol has it, guarded by Rock. goes down low to Langton, he faces. Who read that pass, just about gets to Waters, he hesitates, gets in the lane, takes the tough turnaround for two. Tough two. Rock going in the lane, kicks it. Agu doesn't get the drop, but gets his own rebound for two. Nice spin move, but way to stay with his shot was right there to put back his own offensive rebound. Does a good job with that, does Obi. Carl Weedle backs out. He'll skip it. Oh, blocked. 
no way that was going anywhere. Oda Rock looks long. And then Walsh, a little European step gets through, doesn't get his own shot, but will stay with the play. And White will have it on the baseline. Evan Walsh, a young man that's going to be heading out to Barry University, the Sunshine State Conference. Florida hoops for him. Another guy that had a very impressive EABL season in the all EABL first team. Comes Abby. off the screen, gets his feet set, and doesn't get it dropped. Wheel has a chance to run. Takes a little contact, turns it over, chance to run for the white team. Carl Carey out top, turns down the screen, little mishandle, needs a pass. Walsh steps through, is fouled on his penetration. And will shoot two. Evan, one of the players that has been involved in all three previous hoops fixes. Played in all three and definitely shown that he is a tough-nosed young player. Plays with a lot of heart, very competitive. Average 20 plus points per game in the EABL this year. Also as MVP for the Oakland's under 18s in their NBL final. He makes the second of the three throws. It's a five point lead now for White. So comes off the screen. Weedle flares off that high post pick, gets in the lane, slips, but was obviously pushed to generate the slip. And Carl Wheel, one of the young British players, is actually playing overseas for his regular season basketball in Angelico Ballet in Italy. One of those clubs in Europe that's really renowned for uh, developing younger players has always been successful. A lot of major Italian clubs will place will pick players up from there. But he misses the free throw. The white with the four-point lead and the basketball. Earl Rock down the lane. Strong finish. Nice. Really, really strong finish from EJ. White getting into a little switch and rotation acts defensively. Uh, and I couldn't get the finish on the far side of the ring. Walsh in transition. Black trying to make things happen with their defense. Got a lot of success of that in the second quarter. Nice pass. Nice pass. Good deep seal from Danny King. Gets it to go with the right. Picks up two. We've got an eight-point game, and this is getting a little dangerous for Black. They've got to tick it over right now. As it goes up, doesn't get the roll, work on the boards. And Obi Agu comes down with it. They've got numbers down the floor, but Black do a great job getting back. Erdo Rock has it. Stops, fires it, nails it. Very skilled. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of players will look at him and, and so, look at his body shape, but he is very, very, very skilled. While well, Black happens to work to get out, now they take a deep three, it's way off. And the ball belongs to White as Wheatle couldn't control it. Mass substitutions both ways. Three for Black, four for White. And they leave uh, Hurdle Rock on the floor. Vernon comes down the floor. No rock spins. A little hesitation. Well, has enough presence to throw it off the defense to retain possession. But the referee oh, no. sees it the other way. White team up into a little full court pressure. Kind of soft. Tough. Oh, great acceleration for the two. Tremendous change of speed there. The stop, the hezzy, and the go for the two. Animal gets it. And here's Marilyn coming 
turn it over, what an impact. One still and two, and then throws it down. Timeout coming for White. And then the same again, a little deja vu here. White built a big lead in the first half that just disappeared in an instant. And you can do that, guys, coming off the bench. You can see there a good lesson for the young guys watching. Don't, you don't need to, you don't, you don't need to be, you know, impacting the game in all the points and all these plenty of different ways, but defense is the one that coaches love. Coaches Absolutely. love it. Absolutely. Coaches will never complain about defense. While we've got these timeouts, just to remind you, these, uh, this event would not have been possible. One, about the fans that have come down here and packed the Brixton Recreation Center, but also a number of partners that have worked with Sam Nieder and Hoops Fix. So more Tutal.com, sports serve, and big foot basketball, five or six, red ball, let me play, always balling, the basketball mega store, custom college recruiting, and Wilkie TV, they're major partners in what's become one of the major events on the basketball calendar, the Hoops Fit Classic, the third year, second year here at Brixton Recreation Center, it's almost become synonymous with the event. An absolute sellout today as well. There's standing room only here in the Brixton Wreck. Little double team here by Black, but Luke Mitchell sees it, finds the open man, great vision. Good pass. Great vision. Dan Aiken gets the two, but it's all about Luke Mitchell's, Luke Mitchell's vision. That's often the thing. When you're getting double team, stay calm. You don't need to panic. Make the composure play. Oh, nice pass again, and uh, Josh Apple gets two around the ring, but that's a great find. Six-point lead for the white team. Three minutes to go in the third. Uh, to the corner. The three has gone, it's short, and Charles Pepperton oh, just turns it over. Wow. When that guy is open, put him in the book. Got to know the scout report on Ben Maravin. I think he's now three for four from the three-point line, doing a great job knocking him down. Here's James Lloyd, moves it on. Oh, blocked. That's a great defensive play by uh, Zapatis. Very, very long. Uh, an active young man. I think it's the socks, to be honest, Mark. Those, those loud socks, and he's got a loud game to match. <laughs> Here comes Luke Mitchell. Nice feel about the way White have signed to impose themselves on this game. Both ends of the floor. Aiken with the pick. Mitchell doesn't look at him. And Paytas gets in the lane. Finds Mitchell. Great share of the basketball. Paytas penetrates behind the back. Out of bounds. They thought referee Kwame Yuboa was going to hit the jump shot. Wide open. <laughs> Wow, if you're guarding I mean, Adamu, he is quick. Uh, that, is a, that is a tough young man to keep him front. Just blows past the defense, gets the two. Any opportunity for him to go downhill, you are in trouble. And we're going up, gets the layup. Well, someone was so intent on getting him to stop the shoot, the three, they just gave him the penetration. Yeah, can do it all, can shoot the three, and can obviously show he can put it on the floor and score in traffic. Jesse Papa moves it on. Lloyd thinks about the three. Does take the three. Count it. Well, black team again, just hanging around enough, ticking it over. Marinan, little mishandle, recovers. Uh, ben Aiken's going to travel. So Ben Aiken with the low post options. Just got a little sloppy, should we say, with his feet. They are. Chucked a little walk on the catch, turns it over. Ben Marriman, the young guy that had a tremendous season in the EABL for Cobbleson, was named in the East Conference first team, 18.5 points per game. Also involved in the uh, Division Two Solon Kestrels team, that were Division Two league winners. And he is taking his game state side off to Mayville State University. NAIA school, North Star Conference. Grayson 
looks inside. Langton gets a touch. And he's just got to play him strong. If he reaches, he'll foul him. Uh, Langton comes up short with a hook. Manoran pushes out of bounds, and that ball will belong to Black. This game's had these periods, isn't it? Yeah. Great, then it's just, they just get a little sloppy, then great, gets a little sloppy. Yeah, Six-point game for White, though. I think the team that has that consistent fourth quarter may come out victorious in this one. Marusu opens up for him, hang time, gets the drop. Finish. And this black team, if they if they say, make good decisions, have some real pace in the back court. Love the players that can you know, power up and finish off of two feet, showing they use their body control to really protect and score. Mitchell finds Manor and thinks about the three from deep. Steps back, fires it up, great defensive play. Chance for Black to run. Got numbers, just have to finish, which they nice do. Finish. James Lloyd with a two. Good fake and finish from James Lloyd. And all of a sudden, we're back to a two-point game. Mitchell. Manorum for three. It's off. And that's a defensive rebound by Josh Apple to finish the third. And just when you think White have broken the game open, Black come back strong, and they trail by two at the end of the third. Yeah, both teams was a helter-skelter quarter, to be honest. Stretches of good, stretches of a little questionable, but they're right here. It's a two-point ball game, all to play for in the fourth quarter. Uh, who do you think's going to win this? It's, uh, if you want to let anybody know, hashtag HASC16. Get involved with this. Give us your view. Who's going to be the team that's going to pull it out to get the... 2016 win the black team or the white team a two-point margin go either way one team is going to establish themselves on this fourth quarter yeah. both teams have done it with defense when they've got their runs going yeah well it, again it comes similar to the under 17s game those stops and scores the all important stops and scores chip away you know we talk about which team is going to win it but also which player is going to step up and be looking to get that MVP award. Who's going to make the big impact and add the most value in this fourth quarter? Ten minutes to go, all to play for. Uh, just before the third quarter, I'm sure the Hoop Six will want to thank all the volunteers they've had. There's been a multitude of uh, people involved in setting up this arena. There's been a multitude of people, the table officials, of all here trying to make this day what it is, which is just a phenomenal success. And it's just growing year on year. A big, big, big shout out to all the volunteers. Do a tremendous job, and without them, none of this takes place. And we always say one of these events, the thing this event really does, it just demonstrates the raw talent that we have available to us in this country. It's. Uh, Clubs and coaches doing a great job introducing these kids to the game and getting their fundamentals to a level. And then we've just got to take them somewhere. We've got to find a way for British basketball to build on this talent that it has. Uh, it's also credit, you know, you look at a lot of guys that have been involved and we've seen them previously, how much growth and improvement they're making over the course of a couple of years, especially those younger ones that maybe start the game a little later in their in their uh, in their youth and they've come a long long way well aerosol has it at the start of the fourth weedle moves it again that first step is quick that is just out and out quick that's a tremendous first step and out of move wow you can't coach quick you are or you're not and he is like lightning uh, adamu was andre teams part of that championship peck of pride team Great job at uh, Kohler as well. Weedle in transition. Nice pass. Got to finish. Oh, what a block. Great way to play and then get back in the game. Carl Carey just appeared <laughs> nowhere <laughs> to get that block. Shaq, Shaq almost looked around like, where did you come from? And there's a foul by Evan Walsh. We're tied at 63. We've got 9 12 to go. 2016 Hoops Fix Classic under 19 game. 
Well, it's always been a too tough to call game, but couldn't be better. 63 apiece. Arisol will get the hand off. Looks at what he has, attacks it left hand, goes up with a right to finish. Just left the defense for dead. Very, very explosive young man. Has really focused on his strength and conditioning, did a tremendous job making One. sure that he's ready to attack and, you know, utilize his strength. Yeah. You're coaching this, this white team now. How, how do you cope with this quickness? <laughs> Back up. <laughs> <laughs> Find out if they can make a jump shot. Back up and dare him to shoot. And this black team now turning the screw with that quickness at the defensive end too. And not surprisingly, Erdo Rock comes back into the game because he gives them a different problem. Yeah, he does. And he look, he's gone straight for that Andre matchup. Black lead it by two. Weedle outside, comes off the high screen, gets to the air, uh, elbow. Russell has it, 10. Langton with a bounce pass. Nice look, but uh, didn't quite execute the pass. Carl Carey with the big step for right. two. We're tied at 65. We've got a new ball game. Maybe Kyle Carey starting to make the decision and get into that killer instinct mindset. Maybe he'll look to take over this basketball game. What well, moves it on? Wheel goes inside. Langton gets an easy look, and Little Rock has to take a foul for the team. Complete breakdown. And. Uh, Jeff fires came, didn't come very hard, did he? Made the pass very easy, easy for Weedle. Yeah, Henry will be going to the charity stripe. Henry Langton, another one that has also been involved in all three hoops fixes and big part of the Euro Europeans over the past two summers. Can't complete, but that again. Adamu is just really impressive. Erdo Rock shows you why he's back in the game. Goes up in traffic and one. Just takes a hit so well. Tough finish. I thought Shaquille Wallace was going to get that one, but RJ Eagle Rock managed to corral it with the contact, sneak it up. So tough but to take that amount of contact. Now he's got a strong body, but take that amount of contact, compose and finish. But he can't complete the M1, but gets his own rebound. White had the two point lead. Who goes inside. Sabrina Mathias gets a touch, tries to go to work, gets contact on that drive. And they're going to give him two shots for that. Big Sam, who'll be taking his talents over to Wake Forest to play some ACC basketball over in North Carolina. Spent his past uh, couple years at Vermont Academy. Returned to play a little D1 basketball with Kent Crusaders. And miss free throws will always come back to haunt you. Arisol pushes this black team in the back. Oh, what a steal. If you're going to pick someone's pocket, you can't do it any better than that. Oh. For all his strength, he was quick with his hands then. Yeah. Four point lead for White. They have the 69 65 advantage. Langton puts it on the floor, goes to work, is fouled. And you said it right of it, you know, he can really stroke that three. They're not offering him that anymore. Yeah, you do have to take that away from Henry, even though he is a, a back to the basket five, he can also take it out there to the three point line and let it rip. A definite weapon for him. Langton on the line, trying to reduce the margin. That one just falls out. Henry. Big man have to make free throws. Yeah, he does. <laughs> He's going to spend a lot of time there. Yep. Makes the second. And he looks a good shooter. He does. Yeah, he really strokes the basketball well. And he'll be disappointed with those misses. Three-point lead. Agu has it outside. Kevin Mathias looks down low with a bounce pass. Gets a little deflection of the defense. 13 seconds on the possession. Subs coming in for White. 
moved away from the mass substitutions. Now the sharp end of the game is uh, with us. Yeah, coach, you know, these guys, these guys are out here competing. Nobody wants to lose. So they'll be looking to get the guys in that they think can take their team over the edge. Little Rock on the baseline. Whips it, extra pass. Agu attacks the closeout in the lane for two. Doesn't get the drop. But Mathias stays with it oh. and misses the dunk. The ball gets the roll as Carey just stays with the play. Big Sam came up a little limpy there as he trots back. Looks like he may have twisted his ankle a little bit. Well, they've given Lang to the open three, and that's what we were saying. He said he couldn't be left alone, and Kevin Mathias limping. The referee just has to stop the game if he's, if he's hurt, surely. Well, he's back in the play now. Carey on the dribble, moves it out of bounds. I think we're going to get a sub both ways now. George Darling comes back in. Two-point lead for Black. And Amin and Moose steps out, and that young man's had a massive impact on this game. Yeah, he's, he's a young man that uh, uses his speed to make the most impact, and he definitely has in this game. Gets it to Earl Rock. Lines up the three, is short. Rebound from deep, big rebound from Jerry uh, Paytas. No one put a body on him. He's an active man that you really do have to keep off the glass, has good athleticism. James Lloyd steps back in for Black. He's going to replace Shaquille Waters. Paytas makes the first. As you're watching here, guys, down the stretch, make sure you voice your opinion. Who do you think deserves the MVP award? And who also do you think is going to win this game? Substitution's coming in, and the man with the hot three-point hand comes back. No one should need reminded, but they've got to make him put the ball on the floor. <laughs> Into the half court. Alex Roberts, who's also had a nice game from deep, lines it up for three. That one's short, though. Chance to run. RJ Earl Rock pushes. How loses control. Just when you were putting the numbers in the book. Running the other way. Stop. Pop the three. Way off. And Darling comes down with a rebound. And RJ Earl Rock will advance the ball. Nice matchup. And then Weedle. And looks down low. Inside, outside, oh. how? Why you leave him open? Well, he gets away with that. Weedle pushes at pace, backs it out, gets to the keyway, is fouled on the pass. Interesting to see how the officials call that one. Well, they're giving him two. Carl Wheeler will say, I only passed off because I was fouled. <laughs> Carl Wheeler, a young man that uh, definitely made an impact on last year's Euro European under 18s team. Actually averaged 9.3 rebounds, which is a big oh, yeah. Fourth in the competition. Uh, it's a huge number, isn't it, in a European competition. Rebounds at a premium. Some big, big bodies. That's a great job for your country. Rainbow three is no good. Darling comes down with a rebound, and Earl Rock chance to build up the four-point lead. Manorum goes up with, well, what he only gets his own rebound, though. Great effort. Darling penetrates. Long two is off. Great work on the glass, and RJ Earl Rock will back it out. Heads up play. Agu attacks it down the middle, goes up. Off the glass, blows the layup, gets his own rebound. Puts it back up for two. And you can't over, overstate how important it is to stay with plays. Uh, good good uh, resistance, and he just kept kept in there. He is, we said it before earlier, very good at following his own offensive rebound. Stays active. Fumbled it. Weedle comes up with it. RJ Earl Rock can't get it. Should be an easy two for Lloyd. Blows it. And Agu stays with the play at the other end as well and comes up with a rebound. Big time miss for Black. 
Earl Rock. They're the ones that, oi. Oof. Fatigue is all I can say. <laughs> Never looked like he was going to miss before uh, before that. Oh, nice job to the right hand side. Tough move from Alex, Alex Roberts. Roberts. Just finished in traffic really well. Back to a four point game. Three forties to go. Agu outside. Wants a little space to play with. Darling sets the screen. Turnover. Should be a two. Oh, blows them. Slam. Weedle stays with a play. Great effort by him. Roberts will back it out. They've got a... Somehow they've got a new 24. Horsu goes up. A bit of a tough turnaround. Oh, White can't buy an offensive rebound in a minute. Wait for three. One point game. On the back of just sheer hustle by Black. Hard work gets them back in the game. 3.08 to go. We've got a one pointer. How do you see it? Well, right now it's <laughs> going to be who values the basketball. And when I say that, do I mean turnovers? Yes, absolutely. They've got to limit those. But they've also got to value it in finding the good high percentage shots. Value it to the point where they're going to get good looks and be able to squeeze the advantage down the stretch here. Well, White are already in the penalty as well. So that's. You won't, Black won't want to give up that one foul unless they really have to. They might need that as this game develops. Just while this timeout's on, this whole event would not be possible without the partners that have worked with the Hoops Fix. Molten, Tutool.com, Sports Serve Limited. Bigfoot basketball, five or six. Red Bull, let me play. Always balling. Basketball mega store and custom college recruiting. Our Wilkie TV. They're partners of this organization that puts on one of the best events in British basketball. This is a sellout crowd here at the Brixton Rec. It's like the good old days of the Rough House here in Brixton. And this is now one of the big events, and we're left with a great finish. Three minutes to go, 75-74. Too close to call, just sit back and enjoy it. Luke Mitchell, off the high screen. Needs a pass now. Oh, Carey stops, fires the three, is short. Great work on the glass. Aitken keeps it alive. Aitken can't handle, just about recovers, needs a pass desperately. Just about finds oh. one. Five on the possession. Oh, Carl Carey off his foot. And that's a big defensive play by Black. Yeah, as well, you know, you, they gave them a couple multiple opportunities, but they stayed with it and were able to finish the possession and they're going the other way. So serious end of the game. Coach Merrington takes the timeout. He's got 2.37 to go, it's his first time out. <laughs> Serious time in an all-star game. <laughs> Hoopsfix.com is there for you all year round. Basketball from all over the world. Best of British, best of European. If it ain't on Hoopsfix, it's not being played. Uh, do a great job, the Hoops Fix, of letting the whole country know what is going on. It's an easy follow. You can follow it on all social media platforms. But why not just jump online, www.hoopsfix.com, spend some time, get familiar with the website, stay up to date with everything going on in the UK. Oh! oh, oh. We have a... Give him that trophy. <laughs> the trophy's as big as he is. Must be worth a t-shirt. It's worth a t-shirt. Just knocked down a no look back to the basket free throw over the head. After keeper eyes on that, he's got a black vest. I'm sure Coach Merrington will want to put him in. 
that out of bounds play. So if someone catches it at the high post and throws it over their head, that's the guy for that. <laughs> Sideline possession for Black. They trail one, 2.37 to go. Game time here at the Brixton Rec. They go back screen and Arisol gets it, but doesn't get the chance to go straight up. Oh, going up, he's blocked, but he's, he's gonna go to the line. Benavardi just went strong and got hit. Will find himself on the three throw line to give his team the lead with 2.30 to go. Sullivan here, the guy at the free throw line. Another Peckham Pride champion at the under 18 level. Average 10.1 points, six rebounds per game for that group. Did work at Vicola. Well, he goes one for two, so we're tied, but the offensive rebound to scramble around. Who's coming out of it? Lamadi does wide open. Arisol for the lead is off. Offensive rebound again, and Black are just all over the glass. And uh, Lamadi's going to travel. And sharp end of the game. Jeffrey Mathias comes back. Dan Atkins sits down. Carl Weedle comes back. And Josh Apple sits down. 2.18 to go. We have a new game at 75 apiece. Luke Mitchell has the basketball. I get it. I, I'm feeling a buzzer beater here today. <laughs> I'm feeling it. Darling outside will find Erdo Rock. A buzzer beater win. Erdo Rock attacks it down the middle. In the lane oh. for two. He is a handful going he to really the glass. Is. Roberts outside, guarded by Earl Rock. Hard show, look for the double team. Roberts beats it. Well, he had the shot, looked to pass. Weedle chases it down. Roberts wide one. open for three. Hits nothing. And Carey comes down with it. Earl Rock wants and gets. Lloyd's got the unimovable task of guarding him. Carey asks for the ball screen. Darling gets in the ball screen. Floats it inside, Darling in the lane for two, can't complete. Well, they got the shot they wanted. Yeah, two good possessions there, tough play the possession before, a nice high percentage look there, unfortunately didn't get it to go. Black to respond. Oh, that quickness at the guard spot, they blow the layup and come up empty. But that quickness has been there for Black all game. Yeah, Andre Arasol showed in the EABO final what he can really do in a championship environment. He'll be taking his talents over to a Division II school, Delta State. Javon Mathias has it knocked away, just about recovers it. Kerry lines it up for three, buries it. Timeout. Well, I was tempted to say the dagger to the heart, but I don't think this game is done at all. 44.9 to go. 80-75, five-point ball game. Josh Merrington talks it over. Right, the... Gonna get it in the front court. Got to go relatively quick here. Surely they're gonna use that guard quickness. Yep. Maybe, maybe left. Maybe the look is to get a downhill drive and make sure you got plenty of shooters on the perimeter for a quick and easy penetrating kick. One thing's for sure: they have to score. They do. They do. On this possession, they have to score because the last few possessions wide have done such a good job at getting shots they want. Great execution down the stretch by the white team. Well, we're nearly at the end of this game. Who do you should be the MVP? Hashtag H-A-S-C-16, let us know. T5, 49, 44.9 seconds. Let's just call it 45. Sideline possession, Black. White come up with a stop here and a score. Could be the game. Waters gets open. That's a matchup. Waters and Carey going at it. Waters on the dribble. No ball screen. Waters tries to attack it. Carey has him. Good D. Oh, Good great D. job. Oh, they're going to go off the foot, which it is, but that's 
Well, you called it. Great defense. Great defense. And right there, big moment in the game. You gotta be able to, under, like, you'll be able to rely on your guys to keep guys in front, cause trouble. Ten, ten seconds to, to not get a shot. Oh, he takes the three, way off. Arisol chases it down, steps back for three of his own, doesn't get it. Great defensive series by White. Turnover though. Walters is oh. fouled as he tried to throw it down. And that one defensive play gives Black a, a real hope in the game. Got to make the throws. Yeah, big possession, uh, sorry, big shots right now. Have to put points on the scoreboard whilst the clock is stopped. And Black still have a foul to give. So they can really go after this, try and get that steal. But he's got to make the throws. Makes Nico. the first. Got to get a score here. I'm sure the pressure will be coming. See if they can get a five-second inbound or a turnover in the front court. Waters to make it a one-possession game, which he does. 80-77. Here we Earl go. Rock has it. They've got to go after it. Well, they go a little bit quick and cheap on the foul. Could have really made an effort to get it. They got to inbound it again. 16.4 seconds to go. And they're going to take the time out to advance it into the front court. Put you on the spot then. Who's your MVP pick? Uh, right now, uh, RJ Eel Rock is looking strong for that. He's, uh, he's, I think, statistically 12 points, four rebounds, six assists out there today. Uh, when they've needed it, he's been a real steady and influence on the floor. Been able to uh, get that match up at the top of the paint and make a play. Good one-on-one -on -one player, very skilled. But the six assists also show that he's a big-time team player and can make plays for other people. Right now, he's stand out if the white team do come out victorious. Black need a big stop here. Maybe a turnover and a quick score right away. And 16.4 seconds, obviously a long, long time. If they don't get the quick steal, it's going to come down to making those free throws. Keep the conversations coming. The don't just when this game finishes. There's so many talking points of today: the under-17 game, the under-19 game, the dunk competition. Just use the hashtag #HASC16. This has been an event. Lots of things to talk about. Lots. This will go on for a number of days. A lot of bragging rights here. White to inbound. They go down and down. The other rock gets it. That's where they need it. And there's the foul. Wow. They missed Three an seconds. opportunity there. They didn't. They had the chance to foul. Darling didn't. Three seconds taken off the clock, down to 13.8. RJ to the line. Coach Merrington still has a timeout. They make both, expecting to advance it. Turtle Rock trying to ice the game. Makes it a two possession. It's gone the wrong way on the scoreboard here. Now it's gone the right way. Two possession game now. Uh, never ever in doubt, just stepped up and stroked it. Five point game, still plenty of time though. Still a lot of time, they have to get a score. And at this point, you know, a three would be great, but you just want to get some points on the board. And then you got to make a play right after that. But right now, Josh Merrington talking it over with his team. See what they come out with off the board. Well, it is the, the last time out of the game. The white team can't take the time out to advance the ball, so. Black have got to get all over this. But what a great advert. This event, sellout crowd. This is what any club in this country would want, any program would want. Sellout crowd, great talent on the floor. Game's down to 14 seconds and it's still undecided. And these are some of the best kids of their age. There could be future stars in this country. Yeah, a lot of guys out there that you know, we said it, they deserve this recognition. They've put the time and the effort in over the course of their regular seasons, all their club basketball, and they've been selected as some of the top British talent coming through. And they need to enjoy this moment. And it's something that they will always remember in their career, the Hoops Fix All-Star Classics. Well, referee Aaron Senior just explains to 
Coach uh, Marinson, that's his last time out. Referee's done a great job letting this game develop and being controlled. Arasol will inbound. Erdogan Rock's going to step off. Lloyd goes to the corner. Elias wide open for three. Short. Defensive rebound by Erdogan Rock. If you needed something else to underline who's the MVP, I'm with you on that one. Um. And Erdogan Rock's going to walk down the floor with 8.6 seconds to go. And RJ has a chance to ice this game. Well, you talk about a wide open look. That's the one you want out of that timeout. Great job from Coach Merrington there yep. getting the open three point look. Unfortunately, unable to knock it down. RJ with a big rebound. Wow, this is the first little glimpse of hope here. Still a tough ask for, for the black team. Black uh, team have got to go. No timeouts. Make or miss, they gotta make it quick. Wow, two threes to tie the game. And White do the right thing, they're up the floor. Carl Weedle tries to fire the three, is short. And Darling ends up with a defensive rebound. And that will do it. The White team have the win in the 2016 Hoops Fix All-Star Classic Under-19 game. 83 to 77. That's the end of a great, great afternoon here at the Brixton Recreation Center. Only the, all, the, the MVP to be decided, but those 24 guys just put on a show. Yeah, I got to give a massive shout out to Sam Netta and all of his Hoops Fix team that were able to put this together today, but also a huge recognition to these 24 players that put it out there big time recognition for them but they enjoyed it they competed and they put on a show good job guys good job, shaking hands as they walk past us here in the uh on the court side that's been fun that's the most important thing here that's been yeah. fun that's been a great level it's been a tremendous afternoon here at the brixton rec a lot of smiles out there and a lot of joy and i'm sure the whatsapp yeah. conversation will continue Absolutely. for the next couple of days and we said it before, the big winner is basketball. Basketball in the UK, in particular, basketball here in the Brixton Rec. It's just one of the classic venues for basketball, especially junior basketball in this country. And we've only got the MVP. And you've, you've already given your opinion. I'm with you 100%. But uh, let's see who gets that prize in a few moments' time. Wow. Coaches did a great job as well. Coach Merrington, Coach Gomez did a marvelous job. Excellent, excellent afternoon of basketball. Shout out to the referees as well. It's hard, sometimes difficult in these all-star games. How do you call it? These three have just let the game go enough, but have been in control. And here it is, the MVP announcement. There's a person in the gym who's going to disagree with that. The phrase take oh, he took over the game in the fourth quarter. Absolute stat stopper. Managed to get points, rebounds, assists, steals across the board. Absolutely fantastic job from RJ. And we're just waiting for the stats to officially come through here. There he is, 15 points. Five rebounds, six assists, six steals. Absolutely awesome performance for RJ and a very much deserved MVP award. Well, that's been an absolute privilege to do this this afternoon. I know I've enjoyed it, I'm sure you have. 100%. 100%, it's been a great day for both of us. It's a tremendous day of basketball here, but from the Bristol Rec, from the 2016 Hoops Fix Classic All-Star, it's a good fight. Read the third one out. See you at the fourth. <laughs> Bye for now.